Hello everybody, welcome. I am Kelly Atchison at stampupbub.com coming to you live from Benasha, Wisconsin. Well, I've been looking at some of the comments you guys are chatting before I came on and um, Nancy, I'm so sorry that your team got beat out. Um, I should say, <laughs> not sorry, Green Bay won. Green Bay Packers won today against the Bears. Huge rivalry. But there were some other teams that didn't get into the playoffs because of that, I think. I don't know. I'm not that huge of a football fan. But <laughs> I know there's some sad people out there. So I'm sorry for everybody that's sad. And hello, Karen from New Zealand. What time is it there? Yeah. Okay. So how are you guys doing? I am so happy to have you here tonight. I have been working most of the day. I've been having so much fun. Gosh, I just love playing with new product and I have some really uh, pretty fantastic cards to share with you tonight. So I'm excited about that. And I'm just watching all the comments coming in. Wendy says it is freezing in Lake Havasu, Arizona. Um, I don't know what the temperature is here, but it's kind of chilly. And um, we got snow today, and we're expected to get a snowstorm. I don't know, tomorrow or Tuesday? I can't remember. My Wisconsin people will come in and, and let you know what our weather is going to be. But I'm happy to report that Steve is a very, very, very happy man today. Does anybody want to know why? besides the fact that he gets to live with me. Just kidding. <laughs> he would laugh at that and probably go. <laughs> <laughs> he installed his um, unit heater. Yeah, he's not, he's not a big um, professional football fan, so he doesn't really care about that, Joan. <laughs> um, he's glad the Packers won, but yes, Deb, Deb is right. Steve got his heater hooked up in the garage and he had to run all the piping for the gas. We have natural gas. Had to run all the piping for it. He got it hung up, mounted. He was telling me all the things, all the things he was doing. He had to go up in the attic and he had to put the XYZ in and level the NOP and do the ABC and then the... RFG didn't do the, 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 and as he's telling me all this, I'm smiling at him going, wah, 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 wah. are you done yet? Because I have things to do. <laughs> he didn't know. <laughs> Unless he's watching me right now and I might be in some trouble. <laughs> but anyways, he got his unit heater installed and then he turned it on and it wouldn't work. And so then he had, he's been calling me. So he's down there in the garage and he calls me up here in my office and he goes, he said, I am one happy man. It is almost 67 degrees in here and he couldn't be happier. He might sleep out there tonight. I don't know. <laughs> so pretty funny, kind of a funny little story, but he is super happy and I don't remember what he said, why the heater didn't come on when he turned it on. He Well, he called me to let me know if he blows up, I might see a big flash out my window right there because he got the gas hooked up and he's going to give it a test run. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't know if I can handle this. But it didn't blow up and um, and now it's running. And so I might not see him for a while. Hi, Marsha. Welcome from Port Charlotte, Florida. Happy to see you in here. So he's pretty happy. That makes me happy. And uh, now he's going to be going through all the receipts for all of the garage stuff. And we have to call the personal shopper guy from the insurance company. And um, things will start being delivered because they like they just order everything and have it shipped here to replace what we can remember we had in the garage, right? Who knows? I'm sure we'll be thinking of things for years like, oh, you had one of that. Um, and while he was getting all the pieces and putting the pipe into the wall to do the installation on the furnace, he says, yeah, 
he measured over studs or something about the stud is supposed to be 22 inches from the corner but none of the corners are square in the brand new garage <laughs> and he goes so he drilled a hole through the with a hole drill through the um to go to the outside of the building for the exhaust pipe or i don't even know what for something I, who knows i like i said i don't pay close attention but hit a stud because the stud wasn't 22 inches from the corner. And I'm like, that does not surprise me. Doesn't surprise. So he got it. He patched the wall and made a new hole and good grief. I'm very happy. Very, very happy. So I hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. Everybody look at all the storm warnings. Oh, Connie, this is actually a shirt. I bought it at a craft sale from a little boutique place. It's a, it's a, I'll show you. It's a corduroy shirt. It's a little thicker, but I really like it. And I was looking for a cream. I almost fell over. I was looking for a cream colored one. I got my Let It Snow Know Me shirt on, which is super cute. So I might be taking this off because it's pretty warm. So thank you. I really do like it too. And I've been looking for a cream colored one for a long time. So I was pretty happy to find it at that little craft show I went to with Molly a couple weeks ago where we had freeze dried candy. Have you guys tried this? Freeze dried Skittles, freeze dried gummy bears, freeze dried whatever kind of candy. Let me tell you. Don't even start because it is delicious, absolutely delicious. So, yeah, Connie says freeze dried candy. That was my first time having freeze dried candy. It is the best. You would be amazed at what a Skittle tastes like freeze dried, like crazy. So we we bought the freeze dried candy, a little bag of it, and as we're going through the craft fair, me and Molly are eating it. Well, before we left, we had to go back and buy some more because it was all gone. Oh my gosh, it was fun. But we had a good time. I got some cute stuff there. I was there to go Christmas shopping, but nobody got any presents. I just bought this shirt and some other stuff. I don't even remember, quite frankly, but it was fun. We had a good time. Um, so did you guys, you guys all have your new catalogs now? Because if you have ordered from me and you don't have a new catalog, I need to know about it. And this, uh, while I'd like to hear from you here, um, please pop me an email if you didn't get a new catalog because I would love to get those out in the mail to you. I have a stockpile of them. Um, my email address is kelly, K-E-L-L-Y, at astampabove.com. Judy says the catalog is great. I know. I've been having so much fun with it. Oh, here comes Marsha from Palm Harbor, Florida. Hi, Marsha. Happy to have you here. Um, so, let me know if you didn't get your catalogs. I'm happy to send them out. Where's my catalogs? You should have received this one. Oh, doesn't that look delightful? I love ice cream, not going to lie. That's one of my bribery things when I call Haley and, and I don't say, hey, can I come over, see the kids? I go, I call her up and she's like, hello. I'm like, does anybody need ice cream? Who's going to turn me down? Well, once in a while, once in a while, she'll say, oh, the kids are sleeping. I'm like, oh, forget it. <laughs> I'll be over later. But anyways, um, your address melted off. So, oh my gosh, Sharon said she sent me a Christmas card, but my address melted off and she got it back. I am so sorry that happened. Isn't that frustrating? I got a card back in the mail that I sent out for a swap and there was, it said uh, address not found or something like that. There was nothing wrong with the address. Yeah, it, it's weird. Uh, I'm sorry, my address melted off. It, it hasn't been that warm here, so I don't know what happened. <laughs> Maybe it happened prior to getting to Wisconsin. Yeah. So these are the new catalogs. You should have received this one and the Celebration brochure there. They come together. So let me know if you need them. I'm happy to send them off to you. <coughs> Sometimes they don't get to where they're supposed to be going. So... Um, Diane says she's going to buy the heart and die set that, oops, oh, what did I just do? I just got rid of you guys. Hang on. Oh, there you are. You're back. Um, the heart and die set that has the brayer. Yeah. So we are using the heart die and then the hybrid embossing folder and that stamp set tonight. So you're going to love this. You're going to love this. Yeah, Rudy said the same thing. Ruby, sorry, Ruby said the same thing, that she got some stuff back that had nothing wrong with the addresses. I know it's it's weird. 
I've been hearing a lot of grumblings coming out of Minnesota and Michigan about mail problems. Shelby got a Christmas card back that was totally destroyed except for the return address. Yeah, I don't know what's happening with our mail service. Jared doesn't work there anymore, so I can't get any um, inside scoops from him. Nancy wants to know how far Haley lives from us. It's about five minutes, so it's not very far. It's just across the freeway. She lives in a cute little subdivision. Um, it's an older subdivision, but it's near the river. <coughs> Sorry, you guys are going to have to put up with my coughing tonight. Um, I am feeling so much better. We'll see. Fingers crossed if that lasts. But I'm, now I'm coughing. So eh, it is what it is. I'll take it as long as I have my energy. My eyes aren't burning. My throat doesn't hurt. I'm not all. I'm still a little nasally, but yeah. Um, Susan says she likes the folder with the words. Now, you know what's really funny? You want to hear a funny little story about that, you guys? So today I was searching all over. I think that's on page 31. Let me see if I'm right. Nope, I'm wrong. I was searching all over for the, um, let me see if I can find it. Mm, oh, hang on. It's not a, it's not a suite. Searching all over the place for that folder with all the words, the hybrid embossing folder. So it not only embosses when you put paper in it, but there's dyes that go with it that also cut out. And good grief if I can find it here. Oh, here we go. Page 18, not 31. So let's get there. Page 18. Here we go. So this is what we're talking about. And this is the one that she's talking about. I went to look for that because I was going to use it tonight. And guess what? I have the brayer. <coughs> but I never got the folder. <laughs> How dumb. So that'll be on my next order. And then I'll be able to use that because that is very, very cool. There's a lot of cool words in there in the fact that it cuts them out and embosses them at the same time. <sighs> Crazy Cat Lady says she loves the words <coughs> and she wants them really bad. So, <coughs> sorry you guys. See, I'm talking without drinking. Not alcohol, although that's not a bad idea, but... <laughs> I don't have any up here. I keep the alcohol away from the stamp room. Oh, goodness. Okay, so our two senators from here got after the postmaster about the bad mail in Minnesota, North Dakota. Excellent. Yeah, it's there. I've been hearing people hollering about Minnesota and Michigan. So Luba just ordered the hybrid heart set. Well, you're going to love it. I'm going to show you all the goodies that I've figured out about it tonight. Um, what else am I going to tell you? I'm going to show you my newest uh, kit. That's what we're going to be making tonight. So you guys know that I started a new program with 2024. I'm so excited about it. But each three times out of the month, three times out of the month, I will be doing a kit and each kit will have three projects in it. And you can get the card kit for free from me. It'll have all the layers, all the ribbon, all the designer paper in it for you to make the three pod projects that I do have my lights plugged in. I don't want to take them down because they're pretty. Thanks, Betty, for noticing. Um, you get all the things. The kit is for free when you place an order with me. So we're going to talk about that in a little bit. I'm doing three of those a month. And then if there's four weeks in the month, four Sundays in the month, I'll be doing something else on that uh, that other Sunday, okay? So, just want you to know that. <coughs> um, John report, the only report I have on John tonight, you guys, is Steve said that his truck hasn't moved in like a month, so he must not like the gas mileage he's getting in it. We don't know that for sure. It's just an assumption. You know those big pickup trucks suck some gas. My Explorer sucks some serious gas. And um, as long as we're on that little thing, squirrel, um, you guys know like I paid a fortune to get my heated passenger seat fixed because the heat part wasn't working. And that's one of my big, I will never buy a vehicle without heated seats again because I'm in Wisconsin. And um, so I, I paid a fortune and we're talking over a thousand dollars 
with two visits to get the heated seat fixed. The first visit was bad enough, but then the other part broke. So you've got a heater in the back and a heater under your butt. So they said usually when one goes, the other one goes. But they didn't tell me that when I got one of them fixed and then the other one went and then nothing works. And so I thought, well, I'm in it this far. I might as well get it done, right? $700 the first time, three or $400 the second time. So I have this $1,000 seat in my vehicle. Now my driver's seat is intermittently not working. And the passenger seat doesn't work half the time either. So we'll be talking to somebody about that. Don't worry. I'll keep you updated. I know inquiring minds want to know, right? <laughs> so, and the other day, I have a new bottle here. Um, this was Valerie's bottle. She got her little sticker on there from Siesta Key. You can see it's kind of dirty. Those are sticker. She had stickers plastered all over it. So I tore them all off because the bottom of my bottle was all dented and it didn't sit up right anymore. So I asked Steve to take it outside and just slam it on the concrete and make it flat again, but he didn't. He took a hammer to it, and then it got all jacked up, and it wouldn't stand up at all. So then I went and got Val's bottle, and this was sitting on my desk right here by my laptop, which is open, I'm working on it, and I take my photos over there. So it's sitting on my desk. I had my back to it, I was taking photos. I bumped up against my desk. I knocked the bottle over, didn't even think twice about it, because it like never leaks. Even with the thing open, it really doesn't leak. Didn't pay attention to it, da da da. Turned around and my bottle was full. It actually drained all over my laptop, not on the keyboard part, which I have like this little, I have this goofy little cover. I'll show you this. I have one of these little flimsy covers, so that saves from crumbs and little spills going in there. But it ran all over the mouse magic pad that's part of my laptop, like all over it, all over the floor. As that's happening, Steve's hollering up the stairs, Kelly, come here. And I'm like, I can't. I'm in the middle of an emergency. <laughs> I know. Oh, my God. I was like, yeah, you can't. You can't. You just can't even make this stuff up. So anyways, I wiped it all off. I have paper towels in here. I ran and grabbed the paper towels. I wiped it all off. And so far, I'm not having any issues. So I don't know. I've got a Mac. Is that waterproof? It seems to me it might be, but I didn't take the time to figure it out. Like, look it up. I don't know. But anyways, it's working okay. Once in a while, my mouse pad doesn't register that I'm touching it, and then I think maybe my fingers are too cold, so I'll warm them up, and then it still doesn't work, so I'll close the lid, and when I open it back up, it works. But that was happening before I spilled my strawberry lemonade all over my mouse pad on my laptop. Not a separate little mouse pad that you run your mouse around. Nobody would care about that, right? <laughs> mm. Joanne, sending best wishes to your husband. I am, yes, we are sending wishes to your husband. He just had open heart surgery. Hoping for a quick recovery and good healing. Yes, here comes the prayers. You're getting lots of prayers tonight. Okay. So, um, da, 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 oh, by the way, you guys, I have links under, oh, did I, yeah, I put links under this video. So if some of you had a hard time getting on here, I actually posted all over Facebook the wrong video link. Good grief. I have two more lives this week in private groups. One is for Stamp Happy Academy Live. The other one is for our catalog kickoff, which by the way, if you haven't joined yet, there you'll there's still all the things going on. All of the classes that we re, that we do live are recorded, so you can watch them over and over or when it works for you. There's a link underneath this video in the description to the catalog kickoff. There's make and takes available. It's so fun to let me cut and do all the things to your cardstock, the punches, the cutting, all the things. And um, the make and takes come with over $35 in Stampin' Up! product to make your make and takes. Plus, you'll have lots of leftovers. So, links down below. Also, um, I'll get into, when we turn the camera around, I've got some graphics to share with you. So, by the, so uh, back to Squirrel. Back to, I, I gave you guys the wrong link. I gave you a link for the catalog kickoff on all my Facebook groups. 
And so I went in and I, I, I edited them, but I couldn't get the picture to go away with the correct link right here tonight. And now I'm going to scrap that video because I've already let it loose and I'll make a new one. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah, make and take and catalog kickoff links are under there. There's a link under this video to my blog post where I will have all of these projects on there with the dimensions and also all the ingredients that I use, the colors of the ink pad, the colors of the cardstock, the names of all the embossing folders, all the things are on my blog, www.astampabub.com <coughs> so that you can easily access them. And you guys know that just about everything I do on here is always going to be found on my blog. So just so you know that, that's my creative website. Um, let me see, what else do I have down here? Nothing, that's about it. Please give me a thumbs up. That thumbs up really helps me in the magical world of internet analytics. I really appreciate it. Also, if you can share this video on the screen someplace right now is a place to share the video. So if you could share that, that would be great. Oh, Diane says she had a bad storm back on Tuesday. And as I was putting my groceries in the trunk, we had a bad storm. And then I can't read the rest. So I'm sorry that you had a bad storm. I know you can't make this stuff up, right? But I know that I always say to myself, no matter what, it could always be worse. When our garage burned down, could always be worse, right? Steve's mom died. That was way worse. Um, so things can always be, always be worse. Oh, she hit herself in the forehead out of the blue, ended up with a concussion. Oh, you're you, lucky you didn't have to get, get stitches. See, it could have been worse. You could have had to get stitches, right? That is my philosophy in life. It could always, always be worse. Always. So I always keep that in my head. No matter what's going on, it could always be worse. Somebody said the video is blurry. I'm watching on my um, my iPad and it's not blurry on here. So I'm thinking you might be having some bad internet in your area. Okay, you guys tell her what to do because you know better than me. <laughs> yeah, you guys are experts at this live stuff. I just come on here and do a video. I don't know any of the things to fix stuff. So it's kind of funny. So we have, oh, hang on. Becky said, does a celebration order over $300 get the hostess an additional $30 to spend? Yes, ma'am. It sure does. You get an additional $30 in Stampin' Rewards. So, yes, if your order. So, if you have a party and it's over $300, you're going to, the hostess gets an extra $30 to spend. If you order over $300 on a personal order, you get an extra $30 to spend. Me as a demonstrator, if I put in an order over $300, I get an extra $30 to spend. Oh, it's just the happiest time of the year. <laughs> Lois says she calls her grandchildren when she has computer problems. That's a good way to do it. I call my grandkids when I have phone problems because I'm not that, I mean, I can run a lot of things, right? And I should be like a computer programmer with all the things we have to do with this business being an online demonstrator. But um, I don't know a lot of things about my phone. There's something goofy going on there now that I don't understand. I can't even remember what it is, but I'll ask Molly next time she's here. <laughs> she knows a lot of things. I want to get her to help me do um, reels and get on TikTok. I think that would be fun. But do I have time to do that? I don't know. Okay. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Oh, that's another thing. Our catalog kickoff. We give away a lot of prizes too. So lots of prizes to be given away. Join that kickoff. Um, there's seven. There, look at me, three. There's seven live lives in there. We do make and take classes. We do additional ideas outside of the products we're using for make and takes. Then we do more live videos on other products in the mini catalog. We want to give you lots of ideas with all these new stamp sets and all these things. Um, Hank Penny wants to know, where did I get my punch and ribbon holders? They are from stamp-n-storage, stamp in storage. 
and they are um, in Minnesota. It's a it's a small business, and they make these to go inside the IKEA cubes. They're expensive. Like I drug my feet on it a long time because they're pricey. But then I finally went, oh, just do it, Kelly. And I did, and I love them. I love them. So <coughs> prizes, make sure you comment. If you're new coming here today or if you are watching the replay later, make sure you comment because when you comment, you get entered into a drawing to win prizes. This is the prize I'm giving away from my live video last week. These are the pastel adhesive back sequins. I love these things. Oh, they already got the sticky on them. What could be better? So for comments on my last video, I have a winner and her name is Nancy Ross of Stanwood, Washington. I think Nancy's on here tonight. Nancy, are you here? Yay. They are really pretty, right? Oh, so pretty. So Nancy, you have some happy mail coming your way. Super duper excited for you. Please click on that thumbs up. That helps me out. We've got 199 thumbs ups and 445 people on here right now. So click on that like button. Appreciate it. Okay. Second way to win fabulous prizes is by sharing this video. Hang on. Alex is asking, how can someone get started as a demonstrator with Stampin' Up? You join my team. So underneath this video is a link to my blog where I say all of the details for these projects will be on my blog. You click that. Over on the right-hand column is a $99 kit. It's a button. It's a button. It says $99 kit. Click on that. That'll You'll be able to join my team. Right now, when you join before the end of February, you're going to get the glass mat that I'm going to be working on for free. If you don't want a glass mat, or maybe you already have one, you will be able to add $30 to your starter kit. So with the glass mat, when you join, you get to choose $125 in any product out of any of our catalogs, the clearance rack, the online exclusives. You get to pick $125 of anything you want for only $99 plus tax. That is what you get when you join. Now, if you don't want the glass mat, you get to add the $30 to that. So you get to choose $155 in any product you want out of any, any of our catalogs. Joe, thank you. Joe is saying, Kelly has the best team ever. I really do. Um, $155 out of any of our catalogs, online exclusives, clearance rack, online, the whole deal and still only pay $99 plus tax. It is the best deal of the year. Celebration is amazing. Plus all the things you get after you join. You get a membership to Stamp Happy Academy, the best website in the world for stampers. You get a 20% discount on all your orders. That's a minimum discount. You get a paper pumpkin kit in your starter kit. You get uh, to be part of my team. Oh my gosh, it is the best ever. Like we have so much fun. We are very active. We have so much fun. This Tuesday we're having a Christmas party because I was sick and had to cancel in December. Yeah, plus free delivery. That's right, no shipping on that, Nancy says. Um, so we're having our Christmas party this Tuesday. We do a meeting through Zoom and Facebook Live. Connie says, join Kelly's team. It's, it's so much fun. No pressure to do more than what you want. And that's the other thing I was going to get to. Thank you, Connie. That you can do this simply for the discount. I will never push you to do anything that you don't want to do. Ever. Like, that's not who I am. I would say the majority of my team are discount shoppers. They love getting a discount. They love stamping up. They love being part of something bigger. Part of the stamping community that I, our team, has created. We do card challenges every week. We have training. If you want to um, run a business, we have training every Wednesday. Um, Alex, the $99 promotion. Our, our kit is always $99, but right now you get the extra, the glass mat or the $30. That promotion ends on the 29th of February. And if you really want the glass mat, I wouldn't wait, if possible. Um, I don't have any insider information that we may run out of them, but you never know. So 
That's the whole deal. Join my team. You will love it. What if you don't love it? It's okay. Nothing happens to you. Nobody will come and make you give that stuff back that you got that huge discount on. You get to keep it. I will still be your friend. I have some people who join for a while and then for whatever reason they have to drop. No big deal. You can drop. You can still order through me when it works for you. You can rejoin my team whenever it works for you. There's no animosity. There's no like, oh, there's that Connie that quit. I will never do that to you. Everybody has to do what's right for them. And I always tell people, your happiness is important to me. You do what makes you happy. So there you go. And Alex asked if they could contact me later. Yes, write down my email address, Alex. It's kelly, K-E-L-L-Y, at a stampabove.com, at a stampabove.com. Pop me an email, happy to chat with you. I can give you all the details. Also on my blog, the link is underneath to get to my blog. Um, go to that $99 kit tab and click on that. There's lots of information in there about all the things, all the things. Okay, next up, share my video. When you share my video, that helps me grow my business and I so appreciate it. I have celebrations, let me hold one up celebrations yeah isn't this pretty this is acetate or window sheets celebrations window sheets on one side they're silver on the other side they're gold this is in our annual catalog hi Marsha happy to see you there's different patterns silver polka dots gold polka dots and then we have the confetti silver gold and I've got a half a pack here for you maybe this is a whole pack I don't even know but I cut it down to six by six for shipping. For sharing my video last week, and I know she's on here, Luba, Luba and Bells. I think that's how you say your last name. Ballas, Ballas? I think so. Luba always sends me beautiful cards. She sends cards for Val and Molly and Dawson. Oh, she's a fantastic stamper. Luba of Rochester, New York. This is on its way to you tomorrow. Yay. Okay. Third way to win fabulous prizes is to place an order with me. And I saw Nancy asked if I got her um, package. Yes, Nancy, I did. Nancy donated a So Sincere. I think this is from you. It's from Nancy. That, if that was the Nancy that was asking me. Um, the So Sincere stamp set. This is a fantastic stamp set. It's got 11 different sentiments in here. And don't you love those fonts? Oh, they just make me have goosebumps. So Nancy donated this. Thank you so much for the donate, Nancy. For placing an order from last Sunday to this Sunday is Melissa Arps of West Bend, Wisconsin. Melissa, this is on its way to you. Congratulations. And Nancy... Thank you so much. So let me set this stuff over by the envelopes I have ready to roll. Take a drink so I don't start coughing. Could I get the book so I can know what to order? Mary, yes. Will you please email me? Email me your address. Do you need all of the books or just the new ones? Let me know that in your email. My email address is kelly, K-E-L-L-Y, at a stamp above.com. We need to get stamping, right? Lynn says the So Sincere stamp set is a great set. It is fantastic. Okay, I am ready to turn this camera around. Let me get all my everything out of the way here. And are we ready? We're ready. Oh, it takes so long. But I like to chat with you guys. I hope you don't hate that. <laughs> Okay, this is the glass mat, everybody. This is the beautiful glass mat. Here's the silicone um, tool caddy thinger. I don't know what they call it. And then it comes with a cleaning cloth. And I keep mine in a clear case because it dries out pretty fast. This just cleans up everything. You can clean your stamps with it. You can clean everything off with it. I absolutely love it. Do you guys like that I have my name on there so I don't forget who I am? No, I'm just kidding. That's not too far from the truth, though. <laughs> just kidding. Okay, hang on. Well, still there? 
Oh, I turned you right off. I hit the button with my um, video holder. That's terrible. I'm glad you didn't go away. <laughs> okay, let me get this straight. I hate it when everything's crooked. There we go. Okay, so um, if you guys want to learn all the little details about the glass mat, it's right in here on page 17. Silicone mat, that's what that's called. Good grief. So I know that this glass mat is not made for shooting videos, by the way, but we're all using it for that because we love it. So what I'm going to do is I am going to tape down some little circles of vellum. My friend Barb taught me this, or at least that's where I learned about it. And I'm just going to see if I can get the glare off the lights that I have to have to shoot videos. So I'm just going to do this, okay? And where else? Do you guys, is there another one? And there's a little one right up here. Let's see if I can move that out of the way. There we go. Let's see if I can get that out of the way. Okay, I think that's better, right? We're going to do some adjusting here just to keep that glare. Oh, I got one more in the middle. Hang on. I can't see that one because my phone holder is right over it. So I'm going to have to wait for the lag. And here it comes. Am I close? Do I have it, you guys? I think I do. I think it's right there. Is that better for everybody? And then I got one more right here. I'm going to do this one right up there. Okay, I think we're good. You tell me if I need to move them. I think that works better. So last week I told you that I have a host code to get the free card kit. You have to use the host code when you check out. And when you check out, you're going to click on your cart. And when it takes you to the screen of your cart over on the right hand side on a computer is going to be a place to put this host code in. Okay. This is the host code for the kit starting today. And this kit, if you place a $35 order with me, by next Saturday, so at the end of Saturday, everybody who orders uses the host code, order over $35, will get the kit for the projects we're going to make tonight. Hang on, I have a piece of hair right there. That'll make me crazy. So that's the deal. If you have any questions, let me know. All right. So um, where are we going to start here? I'm going to put my little mat right up here. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, and before we go any further, I told you there's links under this video. The new catalog kickoff, we are using these products. The um, Hooray for Surprises, the Brighter Skies, and the Floral, the 3D Florals embossing folder. We're going to use that tonight, but these two are fantastic. So, um, link below this video to go check out all the information and register for the catalog kickoff. And then Lavender Dreams. This is the lavender set suite that's in the mini catalog. This is fantastic. We are going to be doing this whole stamp camp. We're calling it Lavender Dreams Stamping Escape in February. Everything will be recorded. Um, this is a big stamp camp. It's going to last three days. It's all virtual. So no matter where you live in the world, you can take part in this. You can only get, you can do the online version if you're outside the United States. Um, that We can't send you product. But if you're in, in the United States, you're going to get a great big swag box. That's We're going to have a, a frame. We're going to have an exclusive tote. We're going to have notepad. You're going to get pre-cut cardstock pieces for 12 cards. It includes shipping, some fun surprises. Um, yeah, did I say framed art? There's going to be a decorated sketchbook, a box set of cards, and then more cards and more and all kinds of stuff. So again, the link for that is right under this video in the description. Last but not least, Stamp Happy Academy. You guys hear me talk about this all the time. When you join my team, you get a basic membership valued at $19.95. We put online classes in there every month. Special events like this catalog kickoff are free to my team members and also Stamp Happy Academy members. Premium membership includes three live classes every month. On top of all the other classes, there's over 100 classes in there right now that you would have access to. And you'll find that at stamphappyacademy.ning.com. If you have any questions about that, please let me know.
always happy to help. Somebody just asked a question. Oh, be careful with my beautiful cream jacket. Yeah, I think I'll take that off. I think that's a good plan. What do you guys think? <laughs> it's gone. Arms are bare now. Um, Connie is registered for the Lavender Dreams, and she says it's going to be so fun. Yes, it is. What is a sketchbook? A sketchbook is a sketchbook. It's a, it's a, it's a book that you can do sketches in or write notes in or whatever, but we're going to be decorating it. Um, we haven't made it yet, so I don't know what it's going to look like, but I can guarantee it's going to use the lavender suite, and it's going to be amazingly beautiful because you cannot go wrong with that lavender set. Let me show you guys. Uh, lavender set is on page 22 through 25. Ooh, it starts right here. There's my note that I owe Dina money. I paid her. Don't worry. Look at this, you guys. This is the Lavender Suite. It's called Perennial Lavender Suite. Good grief. Look at that paper. Look at those dyes. And it just keeps going. Like, this is a really big suite in the catalog. It's crazy. Yeah. So, you'll find all the information in the link below this video about this Lavender Dreams Stamping Escape. It's going to be phenomenal. Let's get started. Ah, we've got most adored. Notice I spelled it wrong. I said most adorned, but it's most adored, especially designer series paper. Let's see if I can say special tea. And Audrey says her nails are red and white. And you got them from your daughter for Christmas. Mine are still Christmas, if you can see that. But yeah, they still look pretty decent. I'll have to get them done here pretty soon. Um, the most adorned special adored specialty paper is right here on page nine of the celebration catalog. This paper is free when your order hits fifty dollars. Now you guys know all the stuff in here that is listed with a blue circle. It says fifty free fifty free fifty. When you can order a hundred dollars worth of stuff and you get to pick two fifty dollar items. Now, as you start getting towards the back, we have a stamp set and an embossing folder. You get both of these when your order is $100. So before somebody was asking about a $300 order, if you did a $300 order, you could get this $100 item, this $100 item, and then two $50 items, right? Yes, because that's $300. <laughs> Math is hard. But that's how this brochure works. So you look, this paper is free. This stamp set is free with $50. This paper is free with 50. This paper is free with 50. Everything in here, well, not everything because they show some other things. This pool party ribbon, don't miss that. It's hard um, It's hard to see that that's another item. But go through and look for the circles. There's some embellishments in here too. This is adorable. Here's the free sunny day paper that goes with the um, Brighter Skies bundle that we're using for that kickoff. Let me keep looking here. I'll find those embellishments. Here we've got free stamp set, matching dies. I don't know where those embellishments are. Do you, do you guys know where they are? They're in here someplace. I have a bunch of them. Here they are right here. Don't miss that. Free embellishments. These are opaque faceted gems. Free with a $50 order. So lots of great ideas in here too. That's why I love our catalogs because they give us stamping ideas. We're going to be using the most adored specialty designer series paper, and this is gold foil. So these pieces are gold foil embossed, and then we have these pretty patterns on here that are perfect. Some of them you can use for other things, but like this has hearts on it, this has hearts, this has hearts, this paper has hearts. Beautiful also for um, wedding cards too with the hearts, the heart stuff. Okay, so I'm going to bring in this bundle because I've been having so much fun with it. I just want to share a little bit about it. This comes with a whole set of dies. And let me see if I can find out how many dies are in here. Uh, 14 different dies. So we've got 14 different dies on here. And it comes with a hybrid embossing folder. And I, I'm going to admit something to you guys. When we first started doing these hybrid embossing folders, I was afraid. 
I was sure that they really didn't work. <laughs> like I was afraid that I was going to wreck my embossing folder if I put a die in it. Like I'm not even lying. But then I tried it one time and oh my gosh, I've never turned back. It is so amazing. So I've got some samples of things here that I wanted to do with you. One of the things that you can do is you can simply um, emboss in here. So I've got some vellum vellum cardstock and I am going to emboss this. And I this is like the size of a card front, four by five and a quarter. So I'm going to run, I'm gonna center it over these six parts here. I'm gonna close my folder. I'm going to bring in my machine. Now remember, if you have a stamp and cut and emboss machine, uh, let me see. Um, Alex is saying, do you send those out to people who just want to shop or are those for demonstrators only? I don't know if I miss something, but what are the those that you're talking about, Alex? Let me know. So if you get the stamp and cut and emboss machine, and by the way, if you take the extra $30 during celebration, if you don't have a big machine like this, you can get it with your kit and only pay $99 for it. It's $120. $8, I think, and then you get to choose some other stuff because you get $155 worth of product. But um, this is a good thing to use for your kit if you don't have it and you want it. So this tells you all the ways to layer the things. And um, you've got this platform, you've got two cutting plates, and you can see mine are very well used and loved. And then you've got a specialty plate. This is a separate purchase. Um, you get all of these plates, a platform, this shim, and these plates with your machine. This is a separate accessory. But when you use these big 3D embossing folders, and you know they're 3D because they're really thick, or you can look at the label on them and it will tell you they are 3D. So when you have 3D, this is what you use. Uh, Alex was asking if the catalogs are for people who are interested in buying things from you or those for demonstrators only. No, those are for everybody, demonstrators and customers, Alex. So yes, you get catalogs. If you want catalogs and um, do I want you to order from me? Absolutely. <laughs> Not going to lie. This is my full-time job. Um, but I'm happy to send you the catalog. So again, just pop me an email and I'll be happy to do that. So we just put that specialty platform on top of this embossing folder with only the big platform on the bottom, right? And again, it shows you that right here. This says use with 3D embossing folders. So with this hybrid folder, you can simply emboss with it. Look at how cool that is. I hope you guys can see that good. This is very cool. Vellum embossed is super cool. Okay, the other thing you could do with this is you can take cardstock and put it in here with the dies. So I am going to pull off these dies and look at what's left behind. These are all the other dies that come with this set. So you can cut out nine big hearts. Then we've got two dies, same size, cut out some um, nesting hearts. We've got this whole line of hearts. I was thinking that would be cute to put something across and do a whole bunch of these across a card and it will cut out the hearts. Then you can inlay different color hearts in there in that strip of cardstock if you want, or you can just use these hearts that come out of here. We've got a banner. We've got these fun little um, like uh, spriggy deals. I don't know what you call them. Somebody's got a better word for it, right? And um, then we've got these detailed hearts and again they fit in here so you've got nesting going on we've got this little one that makes three hearts and then we've got these sprigs and these are two separate sprigs so they give you two so you can make two at a time instead of run it through with one run it through again if you need like two or three or four it's just easier okay alex is going to send me an email that is a great idea idea alex please do that because i will be happy to answer your questions so what I do is I bring in this die. Now, if you put it over on this side, it snaps right in place. You can feel it 
you can feel it snap right in place. It's being held there um, by the raised images on this side. And this is the side of the folder that has the logo, okay? So the inside cover with the logo snaps right on there. Love this. And I think earlier today, I put the die over here and cut something that worked too, but I think this is gonna work better because it kind of slid on me a little bit. Now, I've got a piece of five and a half by five and a half inch basic white cardstock, and I am going to run this through with that specialty plate on it. So same way, even though those dies are in there, you use the same stacking order. This does go through fairly easy. I was really surprised. I expected it to be super hard, but it wasn't. Let me push this back through here. And here's what you get. Look at these. Whoa, right? All of these cut nine hearts, cut and embossed, and they just fall right out of there. Isn't that cool? Now, this piece has me mesmerized. Um, because, let me show you what I did with this. I should show you what I didn't do with it. I haven't done anything with it yet, but as I cut those out, I'm like, oh, look at this. This is kind of cool. So let's put this in our paper trimmer. And I, I'm watching my measurements so that I can get good measurements for layers under this. So I'm going to make this a nice little square. Look at that. Isn't that fun? And this you would normally throw away, right? But let's take that and put it on a layer. And now we can like make a card with this. We could also take some different colored hearts. You guys see that I have really been playing with this. Oh, these are the ones that slid earlier. See how they moved? I don't think they stayed in place, but whatever. Then we can do that. Or you can use different colors. You can put different colored hearts in here. You could raise this up. You could do all kinds of things with this. You could put some designer paper down here, wrap some ribbon around that seam, right? So many different, so many different ideas. Okay, so, um, yeah, we don't have the magnetic plate anymore. It was a wonderful idea, but it warped about 10 passes through the machine and that didn't go over well. So yeah, that that we don't have that anymore. The picture for the stamp and cut and embossing machine includes this. Oh, thank you, Tammy. I didn't think it did. Thank you very much. I should have looked it up because I questioned myself and I'm like, no, that's not included. I had to buy mine separately. Let's see. Number two, let's see. Um, da, 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 da. Dies and bossing folders includes all plates needed to get started. So that's what it says. Okay, thank you for telling me that you can buy the specialty plate if you don't have it. Oh, wait. Yeah, because you don't need it with standard embossing folders, only with those really thick ones. I just recommend that you really, um, if it comes with the machine, get it. If you don't have it, it's $11. You'll definitely want it because we have a lot of 3D embossing folders. And how do you know if your folder is 3D? Well, first of all, it's a lot thicker than a standard embossing folder, but I wanna show you in here, so just hang tight. Let me find the embossing folders. They're all right here. This says Cane Weave 3D, Cascading Ruffles 3D. This says Countryside Blossom, no 3D. This is not a 3D. These Elegant Eucalyptus are 3D. So it tells you right in the description if it's a 3D folder. Okay, good point. All right, let me get rid of these hearts. And I'm going to take all of these. And I have started my little, my pile of love. My little dish of love is where I've been putting all of these because they're so much fun. Okay, so that's, that's what I got for you guys. You can emboss a layer. You can emboss and cut at the same time. And then you can use the negative. I'm going to do something fun with this. Not tonight because this was an afterthought, but... Lots and lots of great ideas with this folder. 
and tons of heart options, right? Okay, let's make, <coughs> hang on. <coughs> now I'm gonna be coughing for a little while and I'm so sorry. We are going to make our card. So let me put my dimensions up here and get my little host code in here. If you're, um, if you're putting in an order with me under $150, please use that code. Um, doesn't matter how much your order is. If you use that code, that really helps me out. That allows me to get door prizes and stuff that I like to give away and restock my supplies that I use and stuff like that. So I really, really appreciate it. Now, um, one thing I wanted to share with you guys, where's my little basket? Last week, these are the cards that I made. And this was the first week that I started doing these kits that are free with your order. So this is our note cards and envelopes. And this used the happiness, filled with happiness stamp set and punch. It's a bundle. But this is one of the cards. This is another card, uses the same bundle with some um, embossing folder and some different elements on here. And then we've got the easel calendar that stands up on your desk. Let me get that off of there. I will be getting these cut up tomorrow morning and sent out for everyone who qualified for the free kit from last week's orders through yesterday. So orders from the 2nd of January through um, Saturday will get this kit in the mail if you qualified with a $35 order. I wanted to show you what these kits are going to look like. This is my very first kit. Not to say that I won't change them at all, but this is what it's going to look like. And I've got all the pieces in here for the cards. I've also made a note on here that the video, you can go to my YouTube channel, Kelly at a stamp above, or um, a stamp above.com, Kelly Atchison. You can go to my YouTube channel or my blog and look for January 2nd, and that's where you're going to find the video to recreate these. But here's what the first kit looks like. I use the note cards and envelopes. You've got the note card base, the envelope that comes with it. I've got all the punched elements, the designer paper, and the ribbon. And that was for this card. Then for this card, I've got all the elements. I've embossed the square here. I've die cut the banner. You've got everything here to make that card. And then for the calendar, I got the calendar here, the embossed layers. Here's the little easel. Let's see if I can pick that up. The little easel that's all scored for you. The bird for you to cut out to put on the front. The back layer, everything is here. So this is, oh, oh, that goes with that. This is what these kits are going to look like. So if it's got ribbon, if it's got twine, it's all going to be in here. This is one of the kits that go, goes out in the mail tomorrow for last week's orders. So if your order is, let me find this. If your order is $35, you're going to get the pre-cut cardstock kit with the PDF for the kit, okay, for these cards. I make up a PDF. Those go out to the people who qualify for the kit. If you spend $50, you're gonna get the kit plus a special video tutorial that has a whole bunch of other stamping videos, ideas in it. I think there's 10 or 12 of them. Whole um, pictures, dimensions, video tutorial, brief instructions. If you spend $75 or more, you get the pre-cut card kit, you get that global tutorial, and you're gonna get the embellishments that I used to go with this kit, which are some really pretty pastel embellishments. So that's how this is gonna work. All right, let's keep going here. The other thing I wanna let you guys know, if you are a member of Stamp Happy Academy, you will get the PDF for this. It is going to be included each week. Dina, Barb, and I are going to be loading all of our PDFs on Stamp Happy Academy. One of the great things about that is that those PDFs are gonna be housed all in one place so you have a really easy time finding them. And um, I think that's great. And then instead of each one of us adding our kit with four card designs in it each month for a total of 12 from me, Barb and Dina, you will be getting 27 card tutorials each month. So that's, that's going to be the change um, for this 2024 also. So we're going from nine, no, 
for a 12 that Dina Barb and I would do together with our three kits to 27. So big difference, big, um, big boost to what you get included in there. All right, so I'm gonna bring in, this would be the first card kit. And I've used that beautiful, most adored designer series paper. You guys saw me cut that or um, emboss that vellum in the 3D folder. So I've already got that. That's going to come like this in your kit. This is going to be done. This is going to be cut. You're going to have a piece of this really pretty red ruffled ribbon. This ribbon is on the clearance rack right now, you guys. I love the ruffled ribbon. Um, it's on the clearance rack for $3.20. It's called Mini Ruffled Ribbon. If you go to my online store, you can do a search on the search bar for red ribbon, and this will pop up. $3.20. I think there's 10 yards on here, too. Let me make sure. Yep, 10 yards, 3 8 inch wide. So that'll be included in your kit. You're also going to get the die cut elements, the banner, the heart. All of these are going to be included. So let's make a card. This is um, basic white thick, four and a quarter by 11. I've already scored it at five and a half. I almost said four and a quarter. This will be folded in half, but you might have to make it even. This will be folded in half in your kit because I have to fold it on that score line to get it into the packet. This is really crooked. Your packet one won't be crooked like this, I promise. Let me get this straightened up. I must have... This must have been a hurry score. There we go. That looks much better. Okay, so we are going to, hang on a second. I got to find da, 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 all my little things here so I know what the heck I'm doing. We're going to take this and we are going to stamp the inside first. I always like to do my stamping before I start putting anything together because if you mess it up, you can save it. If you put everything together and then do your stamping on the inside, good grief. That's a disaster waiting to happen. <laughs> Not going to lie. Okay, and I'm going to bring in my Wink Estella. The embellishments that I'll be including with orders over $75 are going to be these red and green. And, oh, these are called wrong. These are called festive pearls. Red and green adhesive backed pearls. Um, and this is a really wimpy little pack here. Here we go. Look at that. You get gold, silver, pool party, and red pearls. Super, super pretty. Uh, where's my stamp set? Underneath my iPad. Come on. Here we go. So let me grab my stamps over here. And I think I'm going to do, I'm going to make this into a Valentine card. So I've got the stamp that says to my Valentine. Let me move these plates out of the way here. To my Valentine. And again, this is part of the Adoring Hearts stamp set. Lots of beautiful sentiments in here. So pretty. So I'm going to stamp this right on here. I love using this glass mat as my stamping service. I'm just amazed at how beautiful it, um, it leaves your images. Like it's solid. And I, and I love that. Here comes just a little, little heart down here in the bottom. We got that. And so our card base is ready to roll. Next thing we're going to do, let me close this. Oh, um, envelopes are not included with your kit, but if you're a stamper, you have envelopes, right? So I also decided to stamp up my envelope a little bit, and I'm just going to use that same little heart that I used on the inside, and I thought that looked pretty. Okay, now I can close this up. We're going to take this vellum layer. I didn't want to cut my vellum before I put it in the embossing folder because I did that and it was kind of tricky. So this piece is a little bit bigger than you need, and we're gonna trim, you're gonna trim it down. It's gonna come embossed for you, but you're gonna trim it down. We need to make this three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. And right now it's four by five and a quarter. So I'm gonna look at this and I'm gonna pull this down an eighth of an inch over here because it looks like I have more space over here than I do over there. Just cut that little sliver off 
Then we've got some space before the hearts up here, and we need this to be at five and an eighth. So I'm gonna put it at five and an eighth here, and that's a little too close for me. So I'm gonna pull that down just a little bit. So you're just gonna cut some slivers off of this until you get it to five and an eighth. I hope that makes sense. I do this a lot when I need something to be perfectly centered. So this is what we have. Then we've got this little banner. I forgot about this. I need to stamp that too. There is a just for you that is wavy just like this banner. And I have to stamp that. And I'm going to come in here. And because this is photopolymer, you can get it right on there. Do that. So I've got that. And then here comes our little hearts. Let me get... I'm just going to pull out a scrap of paper here. And I'm going to bring this white heart in here. And I want to add a little glimmer to it. So I've got my Wink of Stella and I'm just going to color this die cut heart because I think that's just going to put that little bit of glitz on this card that's going to make it extra special. So somebody's asking where I got my calendars. I got my calendars at vipies.com. It's V-I-P-P-I-E-S.com. That information is on my blog from my post last week, dated January 2nd. You can find it. Now, I'm gonna use just a little bit of glue. I see my glue's coming out a little fast. So I don't want this smearing all over. So what I'll do is I'll just kind of touch it with my finger. You could use a sponge dauber. And then I have a little bit of glue there and I just wipe it on my pants. Yep, I said it. Wipe it right on my pants so I don't have glue squishing out underneath my heart. You could also use a sponge dauber and a little little um, puddle of glue. I did get one out. Where's my dauber? Oh, I hear it. We've got the silicone mat. Pour a little glue on here. Go like this and then put this on the back of your heart. But I don't have too much trouble with my glue getting it on here. So I just did it this way. All right. This is a super easy card. We are going to take our, did I have ribbon? Yep, just a little little piece of ribbon, a little tiny piece of ribbon. I am going to fold that in half. Um, you can use mini glue dots or you can grab some tape. I'm just gonna grab some tape. I'm gonna tape this on the back of my heart. So there's just a little bit sticking out. Hang on. Ah. There we go. Sound effects are free. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm so sorry. I know that sounds disgusting. But it's been my life for since October. I haven't been coughing that much, though, so I can be grateful for that, right? Remember I said it's, it could always be worse. So here's our little heart. Isn't that fun? And then we're going to get some dimensionals. I've got my minis here and my regular. So I'm going to put a couple regulars right on here. And just like that. And then this little banner is going to kind of tuck right underneath my heart. So I think that's going to work out good. I was just kind of feel, putting it in there, doing a little test run to make sure that it was... My dimensionals weren't in the way. I keep wanting to pick up these, <laughs> these um, vellum circles that I put down here. I keep wanting to grab them and get them out of my way. Isn't that funny? Okay, here we go. We're gonna take, I'm just gonna lay my vellum on here. Oh, you want the, the inside of your hearts to be the part that's raised up. The other side looks fine, but it's a little, mm, this side looks way better. So I'm going to just lay this on here so that I can see what I'm doing. Oh, you know what? I wanted this to be bigger. I'm going to cut some more off of this, you guys. I wrote my measurements down wrong. I'm going to have to change that. I want this to be three and three quarters. Three and three quarters. I'm going to pull some more off of here. I want more of that red plaid showing. So if you wrote that dimension down, you need to change it. 
And then I'm just gonna take a little bit off the bottom here. And I'm gonna have to get my guillotine because look what I just did. This cutter doesn't like to cut slivers, so hang tight. And now we're good. So there's my vellum. Now see how much difference that makes? I wanted to see more of that plaid on there. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to lay this on here. I want my glue to go behind the elements that I'm putting on this card. And so I have to put my elements on to know where to put the glue. I don't like seeing glue through vellum. And I know they have vellum tape and all kinds of vellum-y things, but you know what? I've never really found any that worked very good at all. So, you know those things that sound really great? The concept is there, but... Mm, yeah, and here we go. There we go. So isn't that cute? What do you guys think of that? Yay! Thank you, Judy. Now I'm gonna take my glue and I'm gonna put it right behind these things. And I don't need any more glue than that. I don't need to glue this whole thing. You don't need to put glue all over it. It doesn't have to be super strong on here. It just has to not fall apart. And now I'm gonna press my glue down Give it a second because vellum is a non-porous paper. So you want to give it just a second to adhere to the designer paper. Let's see if I can pull it apart now that I told you that. And oh, look at that side. Isn't that pretty? I'm going to have to get out a new glue bottle. It's almost as exciting as opening up a new Versamark ink pad for me. Like, oh, I went through another glue bottle. How fun. <laughs> You guys know I've been making lots of cards. Lots of cards. Here we go. Mm, what do you guys think of that? Ah, so pretty, right? And here is our matching envelope. Now we still have to do our embellishments. And I'm going to use these red ones. So I'm going to bring in my Take Your Pick tool. Oh, thank you. Kathy says ribbon behind the heart is so pretty. Thank you so much. I thought so too. Like I just wanted a little bit something, whoops, that's a little too close, I don't like that. Something a little, I needed something and I thought, oh, I've got that red ruffled ribbon that I bought off the clearance rack. I got mine on the clearance rack too. I saw that and I'm like, oh yeah, that's for me. And there we go. There is our first card using the Adoring Hearts bundle, that hybrid folder that I love. Okay, now, um, I just got done doing mystery stamping with my team. I think I did it Friday night. So the next project is going to be a mystery stamping project. And it's not mystery stamping for you because I'm going to show you the whole thing. <laughs> so it's not going to be a mystery to you. It is right now, but as soon as we're done, it's not going to be a mystery. Let me move these off. Um, but... That's one of the benefits of joining my team. We do mystery stamping every month where um, we give out clues. There's four clues. First of all, it tells you what kind of supplies you need. Secondly, you know, um, uh, some measurements. Third, it tells you a few instructions. Fourth, it tells you a few instructions. And then you post a photo of it on our team Facebook group under clue number four, and somebody wins a prize every month. So this was our mystery stamping prize. This is what your kit is going to look like. This is a kit all cut up and ready to go if you place that minimum $35 order. So we're gonna start out with this designer series paper. I wanted this to match the card that we just made. I keep pointing at it, but you probably can't see it. <laughs> Kareen says, I didn't think I liked the heart set, but you may have changed my mind. Just hang on, Kareen. There's more. <laughs> and you're welcome. <laughs> so here is our designer series paper. This is four by 12. Um, it's going to come scored for you on one score right in the middle. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring in my paper trimmer. 
And the instructions that I gave for my mystery stamping had us scoring this three times. However, with anything, I would rather score less and use folding to even up layers. And I'll tell you what I mean in just a minute. So I'm going to score at three inches. Move that cutting blade out of the way. Three inches, make sure you don't score too hard on designer paper because if you do, you will get a little bit of a rough tear on it. And so I used my, some of the white from this side was coming through because I scored it too hard. So I used my red Stampin' Blend marker, that's why you can see that right there, to um, color that white edge. And it looks like I probably shouldn't have done that, but whatever, um, it'll be fine. So. I've scored at three and six, and then the directions said to score at nine and an eighth. Mm, well, I'm gonna try it, we'll see, and then I'll give you the, the good little clues. Yeah, this is gonna be a little bit longer, that's why. Okay, so nine and an eighth, and here we go. Again, don't push too hard when scoring designer series paper because it will bite you. So here's that nine and an eighth. You can see that's a little bit smaller. And then we're going to fold this up. And this is where I ran into the trouble. Yeah, so what I would say is score at the six and the nine and an eighth, and then just fold this last one. So we're going to score at six and nine and an eighth, and then we're going to fold it to fit. And let me get my, let me get my pen out here so I can cross this one off. I'm going to cross off the three. We're only going to score at six and nine and an eighth. So now I'm gonna force this into place. And I'm gonna do that. There we go. Use my bone folder. So, score at six. Yep, we're gonna score at six and nine and an eighth. So you're gonna have those two scores and then you're gonna make this one happen, okay? That's what we're gonna do here. All right, now we've got some layers. And we've got a basic white layer. This is three and a half by, whoops, two and a half by three and a half. Two and a half by three and a half. And then we've got two um, real red layers. These are two and three quarters by three and three quarters. And I see that Charlene is asking about the vellum circles. They're just to keep the glare down from my lights for the video, because otherwise you have all these lights glaring on my desktop. I'm gonna move that just a little bit because I can see that still glaring there. It's just to keep the glare down. I know it's distracting, isn't it? I don't know if I like them or not. Okay, so we're gonna do our stamping on here. And I have to remember, I put myself a little note down here. I have to remember to do some things. So I've got some white white hearts here. I've got three of the die cut and embossed and one of the detailed die cut. I've got a red solid heart here. I've got a modern oval punch. Uh, where's my punch at? Right here. Yes, modern oval punch. I use this punch. All of this will come in your kit if you qualify. And then I'm going to do... Oh, here it is. You are most loved. What a nice, nice saying. Now, this is going to be a gift card holder, you guys. I should have said that. I'm sorry. I, I got so excited. <laughs> you are most loved. Isn't that pretty? Love the font. And we're done with that ink pad. So now we're going to layer this on our red. Yep, I'm done with this. I can use that later when I don't have to shake it, right? To get the last bit out of it, because like I can't throw glue away, heaven forbid. Yeah. We had um, Dawson and Val, Dawson, yeah, Dawson and Val here over the weekend. Um, so this is gonna fold up like this. And on one of these ends is going to be our gift card holder part. And then this is gonna go right here in the middle, okay? But Dawson is mesmerized with our garbage can. We have a 
um, automatic garbage can. The kids got us for a, an anniversary gift or something, and it was pretty funny because when they got it, like, you go up and wave your hand over it, and it opens. That's how it's automatic. And when they got it, I thought, oh, my gosh, that is the dumbest thing I have ever seen. Look, I got glue all over myself. This is a upholstery pin that I put right here in the side. It tucks into the plastic that's left on my glue bottle so that I can get the, uh, I'm gonna put that up there, so that I can get the glue unclogged if I need to. Let me wipe this off. I'm gonna wipe this off too. Okay. So anyways, I thought this was the dumbest thing ever, this automatic garbage can. But I have to tell you, I absolutely love it. Well, Dawson loves to play with it. So now I'm worried that he's throwing things away <laughs> constantly, right? So I'm thinking, oh my gosh, what did he throw away? Every time we can't find something, it's like, did Dawson throw that in the garbage? Ah, yeah. Okay. Then I am going to take this red layer. I tried to do a lot of things with it. Where's my little sample? So I thought, well, maybe I could put this red layer in the embossing folder and emboss it, but then it, I had to stick it out the top. Where's my folder? Here it is. I just wanted a couple hearts on there. So I put it in here like this and I had to stick it out the top and then it left that big line there. So uh, that didn't work. So lots of times my ideas don't work that great. <laughs> not gonna lie. It, it, you know, we all try things and it's like, yeah, that's not working. So now I'm going to take these hearts, these white ones, and I'm going to randomly place them on this layer. And I just thought that would be kind of fun as a decoration. You could do anything here. They're just a decoration. So yeah, we had the kids overnight. And we played a matching game and Steve hollered that Granny was cheating. Val got up and hog piled on him. We were sitting on the floor, hog piled on him. Then Dawson hog piled on him. It was a whole thing. It was hysterical. Okay, now with this piece, we if you want to, you can just cut it with your scissors. If you're a little crazy like I am, hang on, I gotta find a pencil because my desk is severe. Oh, is there a pencil? No. It's a severe mess right now. Do I have another pencil? Yes, I do, right here. Okay, so I, I'm gonna just take, and I want a little bit left down here and a little bit left up there. So I'm gonna go about like this. I'm gonna use a pencil, or you can just cut it. You do what you need to do, but I did it this way because, well, I wasn't sure and I didn't wanna get carried away and cut off too much. But this is gonna be the pocket this could be a cash holder or a card holder. The other thing I was telling my team last night is if they have a business, they could put their business card in here and keep some of these with them in their bag when they're out and about. And you would have your business cards with you to hand out. This would be a really pretty way to hand out your business cards, right? And because we're stampers, we should always be doing something really creative instead of just like, here's my business card. So we're just gonna put glue on the top and this side over here. And then let me grab, here's a Costco card. And that'll fit right in there, right? Or cash, cash will fit in here too. I wanna make sure that's glued down. So now that we have that put together, hang on, I got some glue on my fingers. This is where we'll be able to sign this. This is going to be the front. Oh, I see like it's buckling again. Hang on. Oh yeah, because I used the wrong score line. Well, trust me when this, make sure this folds flat before you do anything. Because that's the problem that I'm having right now. Yeah, make sure you get your tri-folds. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we need to decorate the front. So I thought that this would work good. You're gonna get the ribbon that goes with this. And the ribbon is gonna go right around the front here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave a little bit so I can tie a bow. And I give you plenty of ribbon to be able to do that. 
Here we go. Oh, I was going to tie it in a knot, but I'm tying a bow. You want to make sure it's over to the side so it doesn't interfere with the decoration we're going to put on the front. I had another idea for this too, you guys. Um, because we have a card and now we have a matching gift card holder, I thought, oh, wouldn't it be fun to make a little gift bag or a little gift box out of this paper? But then I thought, gosh, I'm already doing enough here that I don't want to... I can't be on here for three hours. You guys would kill me. So, I know some of you might not care, but some of you would. Make sure you don't cut this too short in case somebody wants to tie that bow again. All right. So, so that the ribbon doesn't fall off the gift card holder, I am going to just put a piece of tape on here, and then this is going to cover it up. So, we're going to put some dimensionals on. I think I'm going to use some minis. Hello, I'm Key from the Netherlands. I hope I say your name right. Welcome. I know it's a very different time there, right? <laughs> and then I'm going to put some dimensionals on the back of this heart. This can be our decoration for the front. These would make really nice wedding things too. Okay, this one... I want to do a little Wink of Stella on because, well, we kind of got that going here with that first one. So I want to make this match. Just going to color this die cut heart with the Wink of Stella. There we go. And here, I'll use this. I'll use this like I was telling you about. Here's my little dauber. And I'm going to put that face down, grab my glue. You could also use the um, adhesive sheets. This would be a good thing to use adhesive sheets on. I like to take this and, you know, keep tapping it around. I don't want big globs of glue on here. And then this is our silicone craft sheet. And this is a good way to adhere glue to the back of things that's, you know, very delicate. There we go. Perfect. Love that. This will dry and it'll just rub off. And this I leave it or you can take it and wash it out with water and use it again. Okay, here comes our modern oval punch. I have those dimensionals straddling this ribbon because I hate it when the element moves around with the ribbon, right? And then here comes our heart. Ah. And now we have a little gift card that matches. Let's get the dimensional. That matches our Valentine card. Or wedding. You could make this for wedding, right? Same thing. What do you guys think of that? Then I'll show you the one that I made for our team meeting. Oops, hang on. Oh, it's untied. Hang on. I'm going to get it tied up so it looks super cute. I should have done this before, but I didn't. A little intermission here while I tie a bow. It might be harder, and it's got my hair in it. <laughs> oh my goodness, I can't tie a bow tonight, you guys. Well, no bow. So there's supposed to be a bow here. But I used the Flight and Airy. This is also free celebration paper to make this gift card holder. This is the one that we did for the mystery stamping for my team meeting. Look at that, that floral 3D embossing folder. Ah! And then here is where your money or your gift card would go. What do you guys think of that one? Yay, so pretty. And I use um, linen thread on here. So we're going to use these dies on our next card. So I'll be able to tell you all about those. They are also brand new. So let me get some of this cleaned up here. I've got one more project that we're going to... Oh, I didn't do my envelope. Oh, no. I, yes, I need an envelope. Hang on. Oh, here's my envelope. 
I stamped it with this image from the Adoring Hearts. So real red, just like that. Beautiful. Okay. Um, oh, which card was that for? That was for a different card. We stamped this one. Sorry, I forgot. Oh, I think that goes with this. Let me show you this. Squirrel. <laughs> oh my gosh. So you untie the ribbon to open the gift card holder. Yes, Sally, who is not Justin. <laughs> Thank you for that. But yes, this is a blocking technique. This is on my blog, you guys. You can find it again at www.astampabove.com. Just look for a picture of this card. Scroll down when you get there. And there's a video tutorial on this. I did this. I am part of the um, Totally Techniques design team. And we all made cards like this. So there's actually a blog hop on there. But this was the envelope that goes with this. So sorry about that. But yeah, isn't that pretty? And you would write on the card right here. So this is a blocking technique made with the adoring hearts and also the same paper that we're using. Most adored specialty paper. Same thing. So lots of great ideas. We're going to do one more card. Looks a little different. Hang tight. Let me get these Costco cards out of here. All right. Uh, this was my old glue, so I'm going to throw that over there. Okay, here comes the next one. And let me get this up here. Now, this is the way your card kit is going to look if you qualify for one. And I'll talk about that in just a minute if you come in here, not from the beginning. So your card kit is going to have this and this and two of these little sprigs from the Adoring Hearts dies. You're gonna have a white label, a gold label, a piece of the designer paper, a layer of this beautiful floral, layered florals 3D embossing folder, you guys. This is so gorgeous. But I will emboss that for you and a layer for the inside of your card. So I wanted to share with you, where did my gold piece go? I wish I had a bigger workspace, you know? You know what? I think I actually might have put it someplace. Okay, so we are going to be using, I found some labels. I've used these before. These are, these dies are called the um, Thoughtful Expression dies, and they go with a whole other bundle. But I love these nesting labels that are in here. So I took our gold piece. This is actually going on the front of our card. And look, I actually have it right here. That's what I was searching for. And I took the largest label and I put it right in the middle of this gold layer. And then I took these sprigs. And remember, you get two of them. So I put these right in the middle of there. Ran this through the machine. That gave me this label, both of these sprigs, and this piece that you would normally throw away, but you're not going to. Now, it always kills me. How do you guys feel about this? It always kills me to use a big panel like this on a card that I'm gonna cover up, right? Like that makes me crazy. So that's why I decided to do all this. And then I cut out the next layering label out of white. So this is another beautiful bundle. I've used these labels a couple times already for other cards. So super fun. So this is <coughs> not what you're going to get. You're going to get this piece. And we are going to layer this piece on top of this one. So all you want to do is make sure if you're making this at home that you stay away from the very outside edges with your label die and you can do all of this and then you don't have to use more of the gold foil because gold foil paper, you only get two sheets in a in a pack and it's, you know, it's $5. So it's $2.50 a sheet. You want to be frugal with it, right? So what I'm going to do here, this is our card base. This is Flirty Flamingo. It is 
five and a half by seven. And I am going to take this piece and I'm going to score it at four and a quarter on the long side. So we're gonna score that. We're gonna fold that and this is gonna be our fun fold. So it's gonna go like this. Now I'm going to take, la, 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 where's my glue? I'm gonna take this gold layer, hang on a second. I just looked at the time. I'm like, what time is it getting to be? I'm not doing too bad. It's only 8.30. Okay, so we're gonna take that piece and we're gonna put it right on here. Now, when you're using foil paper, be careful with your glue. You don't wanna get glue on the front of foil paper. It's next to impossible to get off. Um, I think maybe the rubber erasers might take it off, but uh, just try not to get any glue on the front of your foil paper because good grief, it's disastrous. Now we're gonna do some stamping. So we've got our white label here and we've got our inside. Did you guys see me try to move that circle again? <laughs> not kidding. We are going to use a black ink pad. I've also got some um, stamp and blend markers in here. And this ribbon. This is the gold and silver eighth inch trim combo pack. This is only available online. It is an online exclusive product. And again, it's called gold and silver eighth inch trim combo pack. We're gonna be using the gold, of course, but isn't that just beautiful? I love this. Nice and thin, easy to tie, absolutely love it. This piece is one and a quarter by five and a quarter. And again, it is the most adored specialty paper. I'm gonna just lay it down here for a dry fit so I can stamp, hang on, my sentiment in the right place. So we're going to use Celebrating You. Now, this card could be for anything. It does not have to be a Valentine card. And that's one of the things that I like to do with a set that, you know, is clearly kind of pretty much Valentine-y. We've got roses in here. We've got flowers. You could use this for birthday cards. You could use it for a get well card. You could use it for just an all occasion thinking of you card. But it doesn't have to be for Valentine's with the other elements in there. Now we've got that on there. We're gonna bring in our label and we are going to stamp this little floral image. And I'm gonna do that right over here on this edge. That turned out great. And then I've got the I Adore You. And I'm gonna stamp that in black. Here, I'm gonna bring this down a little closer to me so I can get, get this on here straight. Oh, I messed it up. Look it, messed it up. We're gonna go with the other side. There we go, much better. Let's do those. That little sprig of flowers again. Yay! Okay. Whew. All right, now we're gonna do a little bit of coloring. Oh, you know what? I need an envelope. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the envelope. But where did that scrap paper go that I was using? No, 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 no. Um, I don't know what happened to it. No, oh, let's just use this. I'll just use this. We're gonna color this with some stamp and blend markers. I don't want that to bleed through to the back of my envelope. You know what I mean? So you gotta kind of put a little mask in there to keep that from happening. And I am going to stamp this little floral thing again. I'm gonna stamp that right over here. And then I've got some flirty flamingo. And I'm gonna grab my chamois and clean off the I adore you. And I'm gonna do it with flirty flamingo right on my envelope because I think that's gonna make somebody pretty happy when they open up their mailbox to know that they're adored, right? So again, that was Flirty Flamingo. I'm gonna use my dark marker. 
I've got that mask inside of my envelope so this doesn't bleed through to the other side. Now, if that happens, you forgot to put it in here, don't sweat it. It's not the end of the world. I probably wouldn't throw an envelope away just because of that, but you've been warned. <laughs> you've been warned that it is a possibility. It will bleed through, and I've had that happen many times. So I always try to do this. So coloring all the pretty leaves and the flowers with the flirty flamingo. This, by the way, you guys, is light old olive. Oh, Ginny says she dipped a Q-tip in alcohol and wiped glue off her foil paper. That is a very good tip. I never tried that. So thank you for that. Okay, so here's my pretty little envelope. All right, now, oh, we need to still do this. I thought I was done, but I wasn't. We're going to do these flowers on our label. There we go. And a few more leaves. Whoops. Yeah, so when the kids sleep overnight, they had a sleepover last night. When they sleep overnight, I sleep in the living room with them because our bed is pretty high off the ground and we only have a queen size bed. So two kids in the bed wouldn't work. And our guest room is high off the ground, that bed. And it, um, the kids can fall off and I don't want them to fall off. We have hard floors, right? So I don't want them to fall off and fall on the floor. So I usually sleep in the living room with them. And um, it was pretty funny because I went to bed in the chair. Val slept with me in the recliner. Dawson fell asleep on the couch. Well, about one in the morning, Val had to go to the bathroom because Papa gave her too much juice in her juice cup before bed. So... I yelled at him about it too. He knows better next time, but he'll still do it again. And so one in the morning, she woke up and had to go to the bathroom. So I got up and went to the bathroom with her. And then she thought it was time to get up and play. And I uh, clued her into, uh, no, it's time to go to sleep. So she went back to sleep. Shortly after that, Dawson woke up on the couch and never said a word, just came over to the chair and climbed up on us, me and Val, in a recliner. Not a giant recliner, mind you which next on my list, I need to get new recliners and they need to be big, <laughs> like wide to fit an adult and two toddlers. So anyways, um, we were in this chair, all three of us, and I wake up and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm dying here. So I got up and went to the other chair and I don't know how much longer after that, Valerie woke up and she came to my chair and, and jumped in with me again. She always does that. If I go lay on the couch, she'll wake up at some point and come over and lay on the couch with me. <laughs> it's so funny. Oh, no. Oh, I forgot this. I'm like, oh, no, what did I do? We have to put this layer on. I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> but anyways, it was pretty funny. It was like musical couch chairs all night long. And then they didn't get up to like, I don't know, eight o'clock, which was really nice, right? And then I made um, buttermilk pancakes for breakfast. And we had venison sausage in the basement freezer that we didn't realize. And we made it last week and it was fine. But the stuff we made this morning must have been freezer burned because it did not taste that great. So that was sad. Oh, you guys, look how pretty. Ah. Courtney just bought vellum for the first time. Crazy girl. I love vellum. There's so many cool things you can do with it. Okay, now where are those little spriggy deals? This takes the cake because the, these little pieces add so much. Like this is like pretty plain, but you take these little sprigs and I can feel them touching the glue inside there. Glue those little puppies right in between the white layer and the gold layer. Love that, right? And now we are going to stick this on here. Oh, and when you cut this out, stay away from this end down here because you don't want to see that when you open up the card, right? So this part, stay kind of on one end of that. But now we're going to take and put our dimensionals on here. 
And I just take this and center it from side to side. That's what I did. I'm going to center it in here. This is a way bigger, bigger label than what I used on my sample. So I'll show you that too. I think I made kind of a mistake here. And I think the other one looks better. So you'll be able to see that and you'll like it. But I'm going to keep going here and show you how I finished making this card. Yeah, I used the wrong label dies. That's what I did. Yeah, this looks kind of crazy. That's too much room. But like I said, I'm going to keep going here. Here's the piece of ribbon that comes in the kit. You like the other one way better. Whoops. Let's see if Kelly can tie a bow. I know I can. I know I can. I should get my bow jig out. Yeah, I really like this gold and silver ribbon. It's just so pretty. There we go. Look at how pretty that is, right? Here comes our mini glue dot. And I'm going to curl this up because this is a pretty skinny little ribbon. And I'm going to put this right at the base of my little flower deal there. Oh, love it. Get my ribbon scissors and trim this a little bit. Trim this one a little bit. Yeah, right? And then here's my pearls. I want the gold ones on here, of course, right? And we're going to add a little gold pearl right there. And a couple little gold pearls right up here in this, like, flat area. This embossing folder is so pretty. And then where'd my Wink of Stella go, you guys? Here it is. We're going to carry that through on these flowers to give them just a little bit of glimmer. And now I'm going to show you the, the, the real card, and you can tell me this is much prettier, right, than that. Sorry, I used the wrong label. I'm glad I did that, though, so I wouldn't do that on all the kits. So your kits will be right. <laughs> what do you guys think? Isn't that pretty? <coughs> so here is, hang on. All moved over. Sorry about that screech. It was like um, fingernails on a chalkboard. Here comes all of our beautiful cards. And I've got one more here someplace. Oh, here it is. Oh, this is the one we made. Oh, I wanted to share this with you. Here's the one we made. We used white hearts on the inside, but look at these with the designer paper. I cut those out, but I don't think I'll have enough designer paper to do that in the kit. So I did white on the one sample that I made for you. But there's our little gift card holder, our matching card. And then we've got this one. Oh, yeah, the smaller label looks much better, right? <laughs> totally with you. So you guys, this is the Adoring Hearts with the hybrid folder and the dies. This is like a whole bundle in the new mini catalog. And then don't forget, this paper is part of Celebration. So this is free when your order reaches $50. You could order this stuff and add on, you know, some gold foil paper, whatever it takes. Um, I don't know how much this is to get you to $50 but you can get this paper for free and it's perfect with this bundle. Perfect. Now, remember, kits are a new thing for me in 2024. If you use this host code and you must use the host code, if you forget to use it and you check out, pop me an email and say, Kelly, I didn't use the code. I'll tell you how you can fix it. But when you use this code and your order reaches $3,500, $3,500, $35, you're going to get this kit in the mail from me, okay? So I'm going to send you a free card kit as a thank you. When your order reaches $50, you're going to get a global tutorial from me. And when it reaches $75 or more, you're going to get the kit, the global tutorial, and the pack of embellishments that I just used. These little beauties. Oh, here's, here's a full pack. Well, almost full. These will be included with the kit. 
So everyone who orders from me, you will always get a PDF with a whole bunch of stamping ideas in it from me. So um, please don't think that, well, if I only order $20, I don't, I don't get anything. Yes, you do. You get a PDF from me because I appreciate each and every one of your orders, no matter how much they are. This is just a way that I can reward people and help you with your creativity and give you ideas using some of these bundles. I know that's how I learn. I love to learn new ideas with these bundles. So it's one way that I can do that for you. Yeah. So pretty little class. Um, I'll get this PDF typed up tonight. I've taken most of my photos today. So I've got that going. My blog post, you're going to find my blog at www.estampabove.com. My blog post takes me a little while to get all of the coding set up. So please um, bear with me. Underneath this video in the description, there's a place where you're going to see just a little bit of information that it says see more under or more. And I'll show you that right here. This is my iPad. Right there is the more. So when I click on more, let's see how this works. When I click on more, here comes the more and here's a little bit of information. Here's some more. Here's those links that I'm talking about. There's a link to my blog that's not posted yet because I have to get this finished, these photos and type up the dimensions and all that stuff. But that's where it'll be in about an hour to two hours. Here's the link to register for the new catalog kickoff. Tons and tons. You guys know we put a gallery in there and it's just a gallery of other ideas. 45 minimum cards. 45 cards in a gallery using all mini catalog and celebration stuff. So there's seven live classes in there. We have make and take. So much information. Lavender Dream Stamping Escape. That link is right here also. So make sure you check out the information for that. It is going to be an amazing event. www.estampabub.com And I am going to move all this out of the way. Do you guys have time for some mail? You guys want to see some mail? I would be happy. Whoops, there went my, there went my drink again right over on my computer. Thank goodness it didn't spill. My computer alive. Uh, if you guys want to see mail? Let me know. I'm checking on my computer that I just bashed my. Oh yeah, it's still alive. <laughs> I just bashed my bottle into it. <laughs> please make sure you give me a thumbs up before you go any place. Also, please share this video on your screen someplace. Like I said, right here. There's a share button right there. I don't know if that shows up on your screen or not, but it's right there on mine. Share this video to Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, wherever it lets you share. I would appreciate that. Okay, hang tight. Oh, by the way, I forgot to say, if you order over $150 in your one order, don't use this host code, okay? I want you to get your stamping rewards. I'm going to give you that kit anyways. So don't use the code if your order is over $150. I will give you the kit, but I want you to have your rewards. If your order is under $150, nobody gets the rewards, so I'll take them. That's how that works. All right, I've got a few things here for mail to share with you. Let's see, what is this? Oh, this is my, <laughs> this was in my mail stuff. This is my cousin. Um, she didn't send me a handmade card, but her name is Andrea Schmidt. If any of you live in the Arizona, New Mexico area and you need a mortgage lender, she is phenomenal. That's why I kept that in there. She sends me a calendar, or a, yeah, a calendar, magnetic calendar every year. And I always put it up on my bulletin board. So Andrea Schmidt, she works for Security National. Just thought I'd throw that out there. She's my cousin, and she is exceptional at what she does. She gets awards all the time. Okay, first card here. We have this coming in from Jan Fortin. Bless your heart. I've been sick for so long, on and off. She sent me a Feel Better Friend card, and isn't that so pretty? Thank you so much, Jan. I really appreciate that. Super sweet. Next up, we have Ruth Jarda. Look at this. How cute is that? Merry Christmas, the camper. 
Yeah, this is really fun. Ruth, I love your Christmas card. She says, when I made this, I thought of your South Park. Yeah, that's where we have our camper is a place we call South Park. We just named it because, well, it's named after South Park, and that's funny. Not appropriate, but funny. Okay, next up, I have Cynthia Jacobson. Good grief, Cynthia. This is so pretty. I loved this whole bundle. Absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. Hey, you guys, if you posted a question on here and I did not answer you, this is the time to ask it because I'm able to look at your comments that I might have missed. So, okay, next up, look at this. This card with that um, very cute bear is from Priscilla. Priscilla works for me. She's on my team. She does a lot of behind the scenes, one of my really great helpers. And she sent this card, which was super cute. And then she also sent me this for Christmas. Oh my gosh, is this amazing? I'm gonna see, make sure there's no glare in here. Look at this, you guys. This is called a sampler. Isn't that fun? Um, this is the kind of thing that we're gonna be making in that Lavender Dreams Stamping Escape that's taking place in February, February 22nd, 23rd, something like that. Let me look. 23rd, 24th, and 25th. And again, all the content is recorded. So if you don't happen to be available that weekend, you can watch it whenever you want. But isn't this fun? I love these things. These are my favorite. So I'm going to put that right up on my shelf here. Okay, hang on because I have something from Ingrid Harrington. And Ingrid has sent me some stamps. She said she had duplicates. And yeah, the brightest glow. This is still current. I love this one. And this feels really heavy, which means it also has some dyes in here. Labels a glow, brightest glow. Look at all these. Sweet, sweet. I might hang on to this until, well, this has all kinds of, I might hang on to this until Christmas next year to give away but these are these are gifts to give away so thank you so much for doing that Ingrid that was very very thoughtful of you thank you so much okay more mail hang tight I definitely have to show you this one look at did I show you guys this I don't think I did look how cute this is this came from Lori Watts and Lori I don't know your card is in this box someplace. I just, oh, who's this from? Hang on. Oh, this is some more cutesy stuff. Oh, I don't know who made this anymore. Oh, yes. Yes, here's the card. Hang on, you guys. Here's the card. Look at how pretty this is. Ah, this is from Lori Watts. Isn't that beautiful? This was such a pretty bundle. She sent this, and this is made with socks, and it's a candy bar, you guys. Oh, and I really wanted to show this last time I was on because <laughs> I want to eat the candy bar. But I'm going to keep this because I think this will be cute for the kids next year, right? Just a pair of socks. One sock is tied here. The other one is up here. And the end of the toe is white, so she just tied a string around it to make it look like a little ball. Isn't that the sweetest thing ever? Uh, oh, Melanie said she had a sampler from three years ago with the plaid tree. Kelly cased my sampler square when I did a swap. Oh, yes. Woohoo. I love those samplers. Okay, so, and then I got this. Look at this. You're supremely awesome. And it has little gummy pizzas in there. <laughs> How cute is that? Right? These are super cute. Little pizza box. Very fun. Super cute, Lori. Thank you so much. Then I have Diane Gangloff and Chris Myers. Look at how pretty this is. <gasps> Isn't that beautiful? Thank you so much, ladies. This is absolutely gorgeous. What a beautiful card. Oh, I found my um, swap cards. Yay. I couldn't find them. I didn't know what happened to them. They were in my mail bin. <gasps> Look at how pretty this is. I think this is from, this is from Martha Johnson. She's on here tonight. Martha! Oh, this is so, so pretty, right? Look at how pretty that is. Absolutely beautiful. 
That's a gorgeous bundle too. And then we have Sarah. Sarah, look at how pretty this is. Sarah Thibodeau. I hope I say that right. <laughs> I don't know. I try really hard. Look at how pretty that is. I love this. Gorgeous, gorgeous. <coughs> oh, this one is from Mary Thiel. Mary, this card made me keep my bear punch that is retired. So thank you for that. This I love that she just punched this out of black. And I have to keep this for my bear hunters. That's going to be perfect, right? It really did. <laughs> Not lying. I'm like, oh, that's a really good idea. Uh, this is from Linda Gilbert. Linda is in Coon Rapids, Minnesota. Linda, love your little snowman card. How fun is that? Then, oh, this is a beauty too, you guys. This is from Polly Libby. I think Polly's on here tonight. Look at how pretty that is. Is that not just magical? Yeah, gold foil again. Boy, gold foil is pretty classy. Look at how pretty that is. I love this. Absolutely gorgeous. Thank you very much, Polly. Next, we have Ingrid Harrington. Look, Ingrid sent me a get well card too. You guys are so sweet. I'm not going to lie. I sent my mom one too because she's been sick for a long time. Usually, you know, by the time you send a get well card, people are better unless they had an operation. But yeah, I sent my mom a card too. <laughs> I just talked to her today and she said she's every day she's feeling a little better. She's still not 100%, but we'll take it, right? Because it could always be worse. Look at how beautiful this is. This is from uh, Tina Semi. I hope I say that right, Tina. Look at how pretty. It's a book fold. Gorgeous, right? Love that one. Oh, here's another really pretty one. This is from Shelby White. Shelby, this is gorgeous. You did a fantastic job. Oh, <laughs> I'm like, oh. No, it goes like this. Sorry, you guys. Isn't that pretty? I love how she put the paper on the inside, too. Beautiful. Next up, look at how pretty this is. This is from Susan Loring. I love your embossed snowflakes there. Isn't that so pretty? No naked middles, right? No naked insides. Oh, here's another pretty one. Hang on a second. I got to get this one open. This is from Lynn Ingram. Look at how pretty that is. <sighs> glitter, 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 glitter. Absolutely gorgeous. Thank you so much. So pretty. I had so much fun opening these Christmas cards. Ooh, this is one of my, this was one of my favorite bundles. This is from Luann Weidenfeller. Isn't this pretty? Yeah. Isn't that fun? That's the part that opens. Yeah. Oh, what did she say on the back? An oldie but a goodie. Have a wonderful Christmas. So pretty. Okay, next up, we have Sherry Simon. Look at how pretty that is. Good grief. <gasps> She's got those berries in there. Absolutely gorgeous. Thank you so much, Sherry. So pretty. Next up. We've got Kathy Showalter. Kathy, this is just so elegant. This uses the rectangle, the stitched rectangle, and a smaller stitched rectangle. And isn't that so pretty? And then this part is embossed. Absolutely gorgeous. Thank you so much. I've got this ornament in here too. This is, Lori made this. Isn't that pretty? That was with the socks and the pizza. She just she just really gave me a super nice little gift there. Okay, next up. Almost done here. This is from Jan Fortin. This is a Christmas card. Remember, she sent me the get well card too. This is very pretty. Very majestic, the deer is, right? Next, I have Heather Arnold. Look how pretty this is. She used that designer paper and stamped that majestic deer right on here. So you guys are thinking alike. Both of these guys are from Wisconsin. So, yep, makes a lot of sense. Thank you so much, Heather. Next, we have Merry Christmas from Heather Wesley. I used to babysit her kids, Austin and Elizabeth, and they have a new grandbaby. Austin just had a baby. 
So that was super exciting news to get. Thank you, Heather, so much. And then, you guys, I do have some more mail, but I didn't bring it in here because I didn't know how much I'd be able to get through. So I just wanted to let you know that. And I'm going to flip around and come back in here. And I would just like to be face-to-face -to, -face to tell you Thank you so much for joining me tonight. As usual, it was a pleasure to spend the evening with you. Um, let's see. Laura's got a question here. Do you use your reward money as you order or do they accumulate somewhere? Well, what I do, Laura, is I start a workshop. So that host code that I gave you, it's a workshop. And I am the hostess. So when I decide to close it out... That would be like a host is having a party and closing it now. So then I claim the rewards and that's how I order the supplies and like the embellishments that I'm going to include with the bigger orders. Um, that's how I do that. So that those rewards pay for some of that stuff. So um, and if your order is under if you as an individual have an order under one hundred and fifty dollars, those rewards don't go to anybody. So that's why I always say use the host code and then I get the rewards and that's how I give away prizes and stuff like that and supply all this stuff for these kids. So that's a really good question. And let's see, Kelly Jones says, will you discuss how much we need to order if we want the card kit and technique club? So Joan, your technique club is I believe $30. You have to place a minimum $30 order and this card kit is a minimum $35 order. So if you're in one of my other programs, like Joan is asking about Technique Club, and that minimum order needs to be, I think it's $30. It's on my blog. You guys know I have a really bad memory. You would have to order $65. $30 for the Technique Club, $35 for this kit for $65. And then pop me an email. Um, and say, I want the kit, I ordered so I could get the kit, okay? And then I'll make sure that you are put on my list for the kits. I have a whole bunch of kits that I am going to be sending out of here. Um, can I just say that the first week doing this new card kit went really well? <laughs> yeah, so that was really nice. Thank you all very much. Um, Alex said, I will send it right now, but I don't expect a reply tonight. Thanks for your help. I'll look forward to speaking to you. Okay, that's great. Because, Alex, I have like an hour to two hours of work to do to get this blog post put together. All my photos finished, and I've got a lot of them taken, but there's a whole bunch of behind-the-scenes work that have to happen after I'm live to get my website updated with the information from this live. I hope that makes sense. It's a lot of wah, 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 wah. We don't care, Kelly. Just give me an hour to two hours. I'll probably answer you tomorrow. <laughs> That's fair, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, thank you guys so much for all the questions. Like I love answering questions. Please make sure that if you have never given Stampin' Up! a try, or maybe you gave it a try years ago, it's a whole different ball game now. Um, to be part of a big community like my team, I do have a big team. We are active every single day, many multiple times a day on our Facebook group. It's so much fun. We have card challenges. We have mystery stamping. We have make it Monday challenges. We have layout challenges, color challenges, team meetings, training every week. I do a question and answer live every Tuesday morning for my team. So there's so much going on. And some of you might be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. You can participate in as much as you want or not participate. It is completely up to you. And like I said before, I will never push you to do anything you don't want to do. If you just want to be a happy stamper and get your discount and watch and, and see all the goodies that are part of my team, you can do that. Yeah. So Barbara says, hang on, I just got your question. Is the $30 extra for $30 plus order in addition to 12%? Yes, it is over and above the 12%. So when you place a $150 order, um, let me grab my catalog. When you place a $150 order, you actually get 10% in Stampin' Rewards. And all that information is on page 79 of the new mini catalog. 
When your order is $300, you get 12% rewards. And during celebration, you will get that 12% rewards plus $30 more when your party or order hits $300. So that was a really good question. Yes. Um, join my team. You'll love it. And if you don't love it, you're not going to lose anything. You're going to get a huge discount on all these products you're going to get for only $99. Um, you're going to be able to check it out. You'll get a discount on your future orders, 20% minimum discount. So that's good. And yeah, you can do as little or as much as you want with my team. A, a lot of people, uh, not a lot. I have had several people who have started out with, I'm just going to do the discount. And they have so much fun and have so much fun. And then pretty soon they go, you know, I think I could do this. I think I could go have a class with my um, ladies from Thursday Coffee. And so then that's how it starts. But you don't ever have to do anything more than be a stamper and get a discount. So, ah, Barbara says they sold their boat today. I'm so sorry. That is hard, right? When you have so many memories. Um, Alex asks, is it hard to make income from it? Um, yes, yes. As with any online business that you're starting in a craft industry like this, it takes a lot of hard work and a lot of dedication. And the one thing that you will hear from me over and over if you want to do that is, consistency, consistency, consistency. So yes, it is not, you're not going to go out there and in a week you're going to be making money. That's not going to happen. So, um, but I work full time. This is my job. So, and there are rules within the, um, I can't remember the actual name of it, the selling society that we belong to as independent Stampin' Up! demonstrators that prohibit me from saying things. How about that? I, you know, like, I can't tell you, oh yeah, well, I did this and I do that and oh my gosh, and I go here and I go there. I can't tell you that anymore. But if you watch me on Facebook, I'm having a lot of fun. That's all I'm going to say. I don't want to get in trouble. Um, there's, some, there's some people out there that are being very deceptive about other, other businesses. And so, yeah, that's it, Heather, the Direct Selling Association. So we have to be very, very careful. There's nothing, um, nothing you guys see. You see what I do. You know, this is it. And this is my full-time job. So... It's fun and I love it. Okay, any other questions? I'm sorry about your boat, Barbara. I know, I know how that goes, right? It's rough when you have a lot of memories with something and then my dad, oh gosh, that was the worst. My dad sold his semi. My dad was an over the road owner, operator, truck driver, my mom and dad both. And he got sick and he was never gonna go out on the road again. And they had to sell his truck and oh, don't make me cry, it was horrible. Here I go. All right. Going to let you go. Oh, Laura says, do you have, Laura says, do you have to file taxes if you only order for your personal discount? Absolutely not. You are a hobby demonstrator, um, a discount shopper getting a discount on product. No, I am not a tax expert, but I'll tell you, no, you don't. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much. I think that's it. Sandy says, Sandy's one of my newer team members. She said, Kelly's team is so much fun. I'm so glad you joined, Sandy. Don't you love it? You love it, right? It's the best. Okay, any questions, pop me an email. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. Luba, thank you so much for your kind comments. Barbara, you guys, I appreciate all of you. I just want you to really know that. I will be back live again on January 14th. That is next Sunday night. I am live this week for Stamp Happy Academy live and premium members. Um, I think I'm live on the, I don't know, Wednesday and Thursday, but which for which. I'm live in the kickoff group, I think Thursday. I'm live, I believe, at 6 p.m. on Wednesday for Stamp Happy Academy. So check the schedules on both of those places because you know you can't trust my head. Um, my email, Kelly, K-E-L-L-Y, at a stampabove.com. 
Tax expert. Joe says, tax expert. No, you don't pay taxes on personal sales. You don't. Yeah, it's a personal purchases is what it is, and you're just getting a discount. So no, there's no tax. There's no taxes involved. Okay. Peace out, everybody. Have a great week. Stay warm, stay dry, stay out of those snowstorms. They're coming, people. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. Bye-bye.